Hello and welcome to Dolls Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log into the Dolls Pro Assessment Support Tool and enter a Form 3 assessment for Dolls. To begin, simply enter the email address and password you used to register with. We are now in the Dolls Pro dashboard, where users can perform a number of tasks, such as editing their profile or adding subscriptions to their account. Users can also access the online assessment library and by clicking on the list assessments, have access to any Form 3 assessment they have completed using Dolls Pro. Whilst we are here, I want to point out the Dolls Pro Cloud. By storing your assessments on the Dolls Pro Secure servers, you can access your assessments anytime, any place, or anywhere. As you can see, I have entered two anonymized assessments to give you an idea of what this looks like in practice. To add a new assessment, click Add Form 3 Assessment. And now we are into the assessment support tool itself. Dolls Pro allows users to create person-centered assessments. The pre-write system enables selection of a number of options that allows users to write professional reports, which include all the key information expected by local authorities, set out in a focused and concise way. A number of best interest assessors still use pen and paper when they go out on assessments. This essentially means that assessors are writing their reports twice, as they will have to go back to base and then begin the laborious process of writing the Form 3 on the computer. If you have a laptop or tablet, you can take Dolls Pro with you. It drastically reduces the amount of time you will need to spend writing up Form 3 and helps you avoid writing the same assessment twice. Some of the feedback we were given was that it was taking assessors between 5 to 10 hours to write up their Form 3. So, to give you some evidence of this, I'm going to time how long it takes to complete a Form 3 assessment using Dolls Pro. To complete this anonymous assessment, I'm going to enter details for a fictitious character called John Doe. I want to show you how quick this system can be and highlight some of the clever parts of this software whilst we go along. I'm going to make up the date of birth, diagnosis and which local authority you are assessing on behalf of. The assessment support tool learns with you due to Dolls Pro Intelligent Learning. As you use the system more, it remembers key aspects of the data. As you can see, when I click on Select Placements, it will automatically give me a number of options of previous care establishments entered, which saves you time and reduces repetition in your assessments. Information you enter is used and repeated where needed throughout the document, but in this case, I'm going to add a new one. And finally, we add the date of admission. The consulted people area enables the user to add data regarding people involved in the assessment. The MHA is the Section 12 doctor. As you can see, DOS Pro Intelligent Learning has already remembered the names and addresses of previous doctors that you have worked with. In this case, we will do the assessment with Dr. Jones. Health professional relates to any nursing or care staff you have liaised with at the care home or hospital. We'll add the names and addresses. And in the interested person box, we'll add Josephine Doe and give her a fictitious address. Josephine can be John's partner. We have the ability to record whether John Doe has an LPA for health and welfare in place or do not attempt resuscitation form. By clicking on duration of authorization, this allows the BIA to recommend a length of time of the authorization to be put in place for. In the document section, Dolls Pro does something genuinely clever. When you access the assessment support tool for the first time, you will see three new document boxes. This allows you to build up your library of documents, so that next time you log in, documents such as these here are remembered by Dolls Pro Intelligent Learning. So in this case, we can either add more or simply add. The Mental Capacity Assessment has a number of key built-in features. Essentially, the first box asks if you have completed a Mental Capacity Assessment. In cases where this assessment is completed by a Section 12 doctor, simply select No. In this case, as I want to show you what Dolls Pro is capable of, I will add the capacity assessment. To do this, I will make up the answers and show you how easy the Dolls Pro system is to use. The thing I like about Dolls Pro is that it acts as an aid memoir prompting the user as it goes along. The text boxes are here to record what was said at the time of assessments. And here's a little tip. 
By dragging the bottom right corner, you can increase the size of the text box for ease of use. In this case, I'll add some details just to show you how this works. For those of you who talk type assessments, DOS Pro works with these systems. These areas can contain as little or as much information as the user requires. And in the Use and Way Up information box, In the best interest section, users can again populate these fields with relevant information. As you can see, there are a number of drop down lists which you can use to essentially bullet point key information. For those of you who will take a tablet or PC out on assessments with you, this is a fantastic time saving. During research, one of the complaints care homes had is the amount of time it takes best interest assessors to ask questions to their staff, as it takes them away from their other duties. Here, you can see, each area of support need has multiple options to allow for quick completion. Information can be added to the opinions of both the interested person and staff member that you discuss the assessment within the following boxes. The tick boxes in this section are an aid memoir to allow you to fill out the sections underneath. So in this case, we can add details such as In the deprived of their liberty section, you add information regarding the person's care needs and in the risk of harm section, information that begins to formulate the reasons as to why the deprivation of liberty is required. Conclusions and recommendation allows the user to complete the burdens benefits checklist in an easy to manage way. Then scrolling down to the bottom, Dolce Pro has already identified that Josephine Doe is the relevant person's representative and has put her details in. Now all we need to do is save this to Dolce Pro. And we're finished! Now we go back to the top, click on leave page, and we're back to the list of assessments. As you can see, John Doe is here, and to generate the Form 3, click on the Word document. And there we have it, the completed Form 3. Even at this stage, it is still fully editable. And if you have any last minute changes or things you wish to add, you can still do that. Form 3 in less than 20 minutes. Revolutionise the way you complete Doll's assessments. Sign up for your Dolls Pro account. Visit our website at www.dollspro.co.uk.